My name's Paul Genge and I'm Technical Field Sales Manager for Sony UK and we've just introduced the Alpha 700. It features a 12.24 megapixel Exmor CMOS sensor. It has the capability to shoot at 5 frames per second in continuous advance and is fitted with a 3 inch 921,000 dot LCD. It's exceptionally high resolution and 2.8 times higher contrast than the existing Alpha 100, thereby giving greater information in your image replay. We use the 3 inch screen for uh, the display settings that you have set on the camera any time and you can very quickly orientate between those modes by pressing the function button here on the back of the camera and then using the jog dial here you're able to move between each of the camera's settings and make an easy and quick change and then reselect, continue shooting very efficiently. We have the Alpha 700 fitted here with its vertical control grip which is very convenient for portrait shooting. It attaches to the base of the camera and uh, carries uh, two batteries within it to double your you know, shooting capacity. Very quickly attaches to the back at the bottom of the camera, a screw thread locks it on and then you can shoot in vertical orientation with ease and comfort. Okay, the Alpha 700 can obviously be used for shooting landscape format and when you rotate the camera through 90 degrees for vertical shooting, the shutter release button is in the same axis for the center of the lens and the viewfinder alignment, thereby making it very comfortable for use. So the Alpha 700 features 3 inch screen which is used for navigation display and when you turn the camera vertically it automatically reorientates for your portrait shooting. The Alpha 700 is fitted here with the Carl Zeiss 85mm f1.4 which forms part of our Carl Zeiss series. Together with this camera we're also introducing the 16-105, to uh, a DT optic as well as the DT 18-250 to and the 55-200. to These are added into the range of 21 lenses that we've already launched for the Alpha system so we're now up to 24 optics in our range. The camera has a very clear and uh, easily accessible top plate. We've placed on the left-hand side of the camera, we have selection of all of your exposure modes, and that includes a new setting called Memory Recall. Using Memory Recall, you're able to preset up to 26 image shooting parameters and save them in one of three settings and then recall them very conveniently when you reach those conditions again. Uh, on the grip side of the camera we feature front and rear dials, the shutter release button and the buttons that we place here are exposure compensation, ISO sensitivity, white balance and drive. Each of these modes can be easily accessed and a quick change made to enable you to continue shooting. The rear of the camera features the super steady shot switch here which activates the uh, in-camera stabilisation system which can be used with any alpha lens. The custom button can be pre-programmed to a number of predetermined modes which gives ready access for ones that you want to change most frequently. And the function button. The function button works in combination with the jog dial and enables you to quickly navigate through all of the features available on the rear of the camera. Uh, the options are exposure compensation, uh, focusing locator, uh, metering, di dynamic range adjustment, uh, colour, space and white balance. The camera features two memory card slots now. We can support either Memory Stick Pro Duo or Compact Flash. When you select between the two uh, in the menus you can then shoot and the camera will display your number of frames available on the rear display. Okay, Image playback via the 3 inch screen is uh, very fast to access. We have a display whereby you get five frames across the top of the, uh, the image that you've currently selected for quick navigation between. You can change the display to full frame or you can have uh, several frames in uh, a grid formation which I'll now manually select in the menu and then display afterwards. 
find the display. So the uh, the grid display can be shown as so with uh, three by three images or four by four, and we can also quickly access one of those frames, such as this one, and then zoom in very quickly and scroll around the image like so. So we also provide histogram display where we separate the luminance and then also show red, green and blue channels separately down the side of the display here. And at the bottom we show the shooting parameters which were set on the camera at the moment you took the image. The Super Steady Shot system is inbuilt to the camera and can work with any alpha lens, uh, assisting the photographer by using up to four shutter speed steps below that that uh, is commonly considered guaranteed to remove camera shake. By moving the sensor in the opposite direction to that of the camera shake movement, it cancels out the camera shake and gives you a still picture without camera shake blur. This system is incorporated both into the Alpha 700 and Alpha 100 cameras.